Jet Chang is a special player, but not because of his height or strength. He doesn't have a big international name, so it's easy to write him off. What about Jet Chong? He had a little bit of controversy. You know, doesn't get re-signed by the Dreamers, gets picked up late by Fubon Braves late in the offseason, right? And then just comes in and has an MVP, MVP season. To me, I think that's about as impressive uh, a feat as you can have to go through that much adversity in the offseason and to be able to channel that and turn it into an MVP season. I think that's that's legendary stuff. What makes him special is the drive to get better, to keep going. That's how he just pulled off one of the greatest comebacks in Asian basketball history. Early in the 2020 offseason, Chet would go through one of the biggest challenges in his professional career. He underwent legal troubles in connection with possession of a controlled substance, creating clouds of uncertainty surrounding his name. His club at the time suspended him. Soon after, his contract expired and he was not re-signed. He had so much talent on the court, but for months, his basketball career was uncertain. This is when Jet's true colors showed. He didn't give up, he didn't call it quits. He worked on his craft to continue getting better and silence the doubters. Late in the 2020 offseason, one of the best teams in Taiwan, the Taipei Fubon Braves, decided to make a move and bring him in. At the time, this move was controversial. There were some that once believed Jet may never play again. Well, he did. <laughs> Jet burst onto the scene right from the get-go. He'd go on to have the best season of his career earning league MVP honors and helped his club take home the inaugural plus league championship against his old squad. 那麼長將近一個月的休息的情況之下呢,當然沒有正式的比賽,對他們整個球隊的,不管是磨合啊,還有這個體能上面來說,都是一個在手戰方面來說很重要的考驗。There were questions about his character, if he could come back, and how he could fit with the team. But people forgot. Challenges aren't anything new. The MVP and championship have been a long time coming for one of the best Taiwanese players ever. After graduating college and barely speaking any English, Jet played college ball for Brigham Young University, Hawaii. He then became one of the only Taiwanese players to play in the NBA Summer League when he joined the Minnesota Timberwolves in 2012. For what is life but a constant series of new challenges? The launch of the new Plus League in Taiwan also marked a new start for Jet. He dominated the league on both ends of the floor, ranking top 10 in just about every category among domestic players. You probably can't count the amount of pro hoopers that have made it back after a controversy like this one. In Asia, it's even, it's even less. We will always remember the Plus League trophy staying in Taipei, and we will never forget the MVP that led the club.